it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven So Leslie says, I'd like to know what you feel about my health and also my teaching and writing career slash life purpose Love life too, of course Okay, um, right, so yeah um, there's quite a lot of things there, Leslie, but I'm just going to kind of tune in and see what we get, see where they take me. So they've just said number 41, and uh, let's just get you a message. Ah, <laughs> perfect, right. Everything you offer to the world with joy and love has joy and love embedded within it. If you are confused about your <laughs> life purpose or path, Take time to explore your own tastes, desires and feelings and rediscover what makes you feel good. Allow these pleasant and fun activities to open your heart and then bring that joy back out into the world. Do what you love. The world needs more happy people spreading their joy and their light. So I feel that you need to do your writing in the way that thrills you that makes you really excited and what I saw before I connected was just the sea and now this makes a bit more sense so I was seeing the sea and it was kind of the tide was um, kind of going in and coming back out again crashing against the rocks and just flowing and there was just this ebb and flow and there were waves and currents and all sorts of things and I'm saying to my guys Give me something more than that, you know. I think she lives by the sea, so, you know, can you give me a bit more? What does that mean? And then with that, I felt, as I connected with the rhythm of the flowing and just the vibration of what was being shown, I could hear little phrases, almost like little kind of um, verses, little bits of verse like haikus little you know impressions being created impressions and that's probably why they didn't say too much because it was about the impressions with being painted with words the vibration that was being put across and they're saying you've lost a little bit of that flavor you sometimes are getting into your head a little bit more and they want you to come back to that essential nature of it and to get really really in the joy of it and if it helps you to go and sit by the sea and do your writing by the sea I felt that would be really powerful for you as well there's nothing wrong with your teaching there's nothing wrong with anything if it ain't broke don't fix it I feel like you just need to reawaken the joy get back into the joy vibration <laughs> I love this they've said get back into the swim of things don't fight against the tide don't try quite so hard okay I hope that helps you so let's just um right and also you said something about love right let's just shuffle and we're going to see what comes so I felt a stop there I'm going to go with just one card here for the love vibration okay angel of new life an exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold right there is something coming in and um it's going to be a feel like this this excitement in the heart there's this sort of almost kind of girly breathlessness this real sort of this real joy there is something on the horizon and i don't you know i'm not interested in predictions i'm interested in healing what's stopping you from getting what you want but i feel like it's very close from this um vibration I also feel that it comes closer when you get more into more of a relaxed vibe, when you get more into that sense of the ocean and feeling like you're completely in love with what you're doing creatively. So it's like it's there. It's almost as if you've already met someone. So, you know, I'm just going to leave that there for now. And with it comes a whole new life, a whole new set of possibilities. It will awaken your inspiration. It will reignite your passions in many many areas and give you that sense of wow this is great life is so exciting it's important for you to find that within yourself absolutely yes of course it is but let's not deny that it's so great to be in love so i'm just gonna say you know it's waiting it's waiting for you and it's not far off it feels really really close let's put another card with it and just see whether it gives us a bit more Angel of Clearing, 
um, your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. Right, so the waiting um, is obviously about that, you've asked for that. The confusion, I feel, is around why is everything feeling a little bit like, oh, I need a little bit of a boost, I need a little bit of a change. You need a new approach to do with your creativity and it's just, you know, what I've just explained, just get on that channeling vibration where you kind of just let it come through and if it means that you've just got to let the odd phrase come through the odd word it's like quality you know and I'm not this is not a judgment of the writing but they're kind of saying it's better for you to get two phrases from the golden pen than to have an entire chapter that isn't really you know sparking you I know that will mean something to you, so I'm just going to leave it there. And the golden pen, you know, I always see things being written in golden ink when I know someone's very inspired. And what they're trying to show me is, you know, how to bring you back into that place where you always feel inspired because you felt like that, you know, and you just sort of slipped out a little bit. And it's to do with just relaxing, just relaxing and going with the flow. Oh my goodness, timer wasn't on at all. Right, I have no idea where we are, I'm just going to have to judge it. So, let's just pick a couple of cards for you, past, present and future. Um, so, let's leave those over there. Past, present, future. What more does Leslie need to know about health, work, life? We're not really looking at health because obviously we're not health practitioners. Um, but I'm seeing green. I'm seeing green, so you are having some healing in the heart area and um, what I want you to do is to just trust the process and rest whenever you need to. I feel as if there was um, there's something that was brought on by stress actually and um, you know just take it easy with everything just give yourself time to rest and uh, let's go past present future anyone watching this and if it is longer than the others please you know I didn't put the timer on so hopefully I'll just get a sense of <laughs> when it's right to stop you'll get the perfect message that you're, you need to get past what's brought you here the angel of communication communicate clearly don't be afraid to tell it like it is so you've held back in the past of being really really um you know, open about what you're feeling, just worried about what people think, worried about judgment, worried about hurting people's feelings. So, you know, if there's something that you're not letting go of, um, that isn't really quite right for you, now is the time to start to address that so that something really great can come in. And um, there's a lot of blue in this card and just looking at it and kind of connecting with that vibration, again, you know, as I always feel when these issues of communication come up, I'm feeling a tightening in the throat. I'm feeling something that you need to say someone that you don't necessarily want to say. But you're going to need to have a conversation in order to move yourself into a better frequency. And um, that's all I'm going to say on that. So, present, God of the Arts. So creativity is coming back into your life in a big way. And this is one of the reasons this sense of uh, poetry, verse, writing in a much more spontaneous and, you know, little kind of uh, vignette -y sort of way is coming in. That you need to be painting pictures with words rather than writing books for the time being. Just to free, you know, books or plays. Just to free your mind up again, get back into that. And anything else that you do, like, you know, if you play a musical instrument or if you... I'm hearing drumming around you, so I feel like there's some kind of... I don't know if it's some sort of tribal thing, dance that you like or, you know, people around you who are into this. I just feel like you need to loosen things up a little bit more. The card says the artist within you is about to emerge. So if you also have something that you do, you know, creative, go for it. Bring that in as well. Because doing what you love, doing what brings you joy is essential. And if you're not getting all of that from your writing at the moment, then there's something else that needs to come in to nourish that. Angel of Soul Love. This is your what you're moving into in the future. Time to look at how you value yourself. Issue of self-love. Okay, so as we know, the more we value ourselves, the more we're going to attract people who will also 
show that value, demonstrate that value, valuing of themselves and valuing of us. So, you know, that's just something to point out as a future vibration for you to move in a bit more. And my guides are pointing me back to this. I feel it comes from this. There's something that you do artistically that gives you a real sense of self-value. And that isn't to say, you know, we have to all value, ideally value ourselves just for being who we are, but there is something, there's no should, there's no should here. If there's something that you do that makes you feel really like, yeah, I'm great, <laughs> do it. Do it, do it, do it, because it's really important for you to reconnect with your sense of self-worth and self-value before you um, get into a connection. Okay, that's it. I hope that helps you and have fun with everything. Bye. I don't know if it's real, but when I'm with you, I feel a little closer to heaven. And yes, you move me that much, and I get from your touch. Closer to him.